If you are just tuning in, I am Sprinkle Theory and you are here at the Games Done Quick Twitch channel. And this is Unapologetically Black and Fast where we are celebrating Black Joy and speed running. So if you want to see more events like this and help support Games Done Quick, your subs, Prime Gaming subs, Gift subs, and bits cheered to the GDQ Twitch channel help support GDQ Hotfix, which is like this. So if you enjoy speed running, please consider subscribing to the channel. Now, I'm excited. <laughs> we have a lot of nostalgia this morning or afternoon. Um, and up next, we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Hyperstone Heist with Linear C. Take it away. All right, everyone. Uh, hi, I'm Linear C, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a run of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Hyperstone Heist. Um, I'm playing it um, on a PS5, the Calabunga Collection. It was originally re released on the Sega Genesis back in 1992, and we're going to be doing a run um, with Leonardo as our character. We're going to be playing it on easy. And so would, if my commentator would love to, I would love for you to introduce yourself. <laughs> Absolutely. <Go> ahead, <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. Hi, I'm Metroid Crime. Um, I love turtles. Uh, Linear C is so great at this, and I'm so excited to be here um, and uh, commentate for everyone. Thank you so yeah. much. I think my words are finally working now. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> let's go ahead and... Um, Get started. Um, as mentioned, I'm going to be playing it as Leonardo, and um, the the story is is that Shredder has stolen the Hyperstone and he's shrunk in Manhattan. So we have to go beat up the bad guys. Uh, typical turtles beat 'em up story. Um, time is going to start as soon as I get control of the turtle. Uh, we're going to be skipping all skippable cutscenes. So I'm going to start the count down. I'm gonna skip this one, three, two, one, and start. Good luck. Thank you. Um, so this is a game that came out in December 1992. Um, Linear ended up getting it for Christmas that year <laughs> and has been a huge <laughs> fan of the game ever since. Um, she plays as Leonardo, who's her favorite turtle. Um, I think he's pretty good, too. For reasons. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is a typical, you know, sequence in, you know, Ninja Turtles uh, beat-em-ups where you're fighting in a sewer and you're fighting the Foot Clan. Uh, the Foot Clan has, they have a whole bunch of different weapons. Uh, they're wearing different colored outfits and uh, each color outfit has a different weapon. You'll see that Linear is doing this uh, this kick forward attack. Um, it's the fastest and the strongest because it can take out an entire group of enemies. There we go, and there's an interactable barrel. There's a lot of interactable objects in this game uh, that you can use to take out enemies, which is great. And we'll notice we now have more foot soldiers, uh, and these guys are throwing throwing knives. They jump up in the air to do that. Perfect. Um, and these... What are these guys called? I read it. These guys are called Roadkill Rodney. <laughs> yeah, Roadkill Rodney. <laughs> Quite the name. Yeah, yeah. I was looking... Um, we were kind of looking through the uh, instruction manual for this game because shout out to instruction manuals for games from the 90s. <laughs> really? Um, and, uh, yeah, they had a whole bunch of information about all the different enemies and such. Perfect. Let's go. We're almost done with this level. Um, there we go. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so now we're up above ground here. A lot more interactables here. <laughs> you just saw Linear <laughs> take off that uh, that side of the uh, the fire hydrant as a weapon. Um, and we also have these blue foot soldiers now who have swords. I wonder if that was intentional to match Leonardo's swords. 
you know, I never thought about that <laughs> I just until you about just it mentioned right that. Now, yeah. <laughs> Goodness. That does make sense. Yeah, though. yeah. Um, so in this game, um, every every two hundred points you end up getting a life, so it's it's okay to take risks in this game. Um, yeah. You'll also uh, <laughs> there's another interactable right here coming up <laughs> <laughs> that I really like. So yeah, the um, the like when you get the first hundred points, then you get a life. But yeah, after that, like every two hundred, and it got it. Yeah, life. yeah, so much fun. You want to make sure not to fall down the sewer holes. <laughs> Although you do get a good um, interaction. And of course, there's moving cars. <laughs> so you got to watch out for those. There's a lot happening. <laughs> Everything is trying to take him out today. <laughs> awesome. Got a power up there that allows us to spin and take out any enemies. There we go. We got a life. Perfect. You know, just just an average day in New York. <laughs> yeah, nothing, words of enemies. nothing to see here. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's just out shopping, whatever. Perfect. And then there's another sewer there. Got to watch out not to fall. Oh, there we go. Nope, that's the entrance to the next level. <laughs> there we go. Back into the sewers. Right. We started in the sewers. We went to the street. Now we're back in the sewers again. I mean, it makes sense for us it's Ninja Turtles, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, you'll notice there's... We now have different uh, foot soldier enemies with different color outfits on. Um, so they all have different weapons. Uh, the gray foot soldiers, which I don't... I think we'll come across very soon. Um, they are called blocking foot soldiers and they have nunchucks. Uh, the blue ones have swords. The purple ones, they throw ninja stars. And the orange ones throw daggers. Oh, so here's here's these blocking guys, and Linear hates them, which is understandable. <laughs> <laughs> they are kind of a pain to fight. Oh, and then there's the pizza monsters, which are very unique, like these weird, like alien creatures <laughs> made out of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> like, why are there squids in the sewer? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, but they they give a lot more points, and uh, Linear loves points. Yes. <laughs> All the points. <laughs> Perfect. So just fighting more waves here. And uh, it's easiest for Linear to just do a slide kick across. Oh, and we are up at a boss fight. So... This is Leatherhead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you are too immature to hang out with me! <laughs> he has good dialogue. Um, but basically, uh, Linear has him in this pattern where he will kind of run back and forth on the screen and then Linear just hits him a few times there. Uh, we're trying to basically um, avoid getting hit by him because he can do this thing where he twirls you around and kind of disorients you, which is bad for trying to get back into the pattern. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny to watch. Yeah. But, <laughs> but ideally, we don't see it for time yeah. purposes. <laughs> you definitely go check out a video of it, though. Oh, and then he does a little dance. I've been beaten by a bunch of teenage turtles! And then explodes. He explodes. <laughs> He's just gone. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, and now we're into the auto scroller. Um, and everyone has these amazing hoverboards. I wonder how expensive this was for Shredder to employ everyone with uh, <laughs> <Right. laughs> just these devices, you know. And then we got a nifty one ourselves. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then we're, we're picking up these uh, these question mark boxes. They are point blocks. Uh, and some boxes have them as well. You don't want to hit these logs. They're spiky and awful. <laughs> oh, that's what I get. That's what I get. <laughs> it kind of knocks you down quite like for a, a few <laughs> seconds of frames. 
Um, but originally, uh, we were talking about this, and Linear was saying how uh, she kind of avoided the the question mark blocks at the beginning, because, you know, you never know what they are. They just hit, have a question mark on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a little weird. I seriously did not know for a while. I'm like, I don't want to touch yeah, that. Yeah, you know, like, if you're, 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 this is like several levels into the game, you don't want to just hit one of them and be like, oops. <laughs> I'm going to lose a life or something. <laughs> This is the mysterious ghost ship. And we got more foot soldiers on here. Uh, there's a lot of uh, interactables in this level. Um, but there's actually planks on the floor that uh, you can walk into and they will kind of smack you in the face. <laughs> Very rude. But I like, I like the idea of this level. <laughs> kind of a unique concept. Um, but there's, you, if you've played any of the other Turtles games, there's a lot of really um, similar themes throughout of all of them. Um, I personally have, I've played a few of the Genesis ones, um, but my, like, I, I used to watch a lot of Turtles. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I've also played, uh, like, uh, Shredder's Revenge, which is really cool, which uh, ties a lot of, like, pulls a lot of inspiration from these older Turtles games. Um, and kind of compiles it into this, like, neat package. That was really close there. I almost hit the loose plank. <laughs> <laughs> Would have gotten a good animation from it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you, you never know. There's still time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, you'll see these these spots that look like they're kind of like patched up. That's where the planks are. So we're trying to just avoid those. Have you uh, have you played any of the other Turtles games? Um. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know Turtles on NES. Nice. And I know a lot of people have a love-hate relationship with that. I do too, but I still love it. <laughs> uh, my first Game Boy game was Follow the Foot Clan. I fell in love with it. And just like every like old school Turtles arcade games. And um, yeah, I, I just I just played a lot of Turtles in Turtles in time. Yeah. I didn't have a uh, Super NES growing up, but I got the you know, go over friends' houses and stuff and play it. So I just always love Turtles. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, same about not having an, an SNES growing up. I was a Sega girl. <laughs> yes. You know, Sega do what Nintendo don't. Yeah, hey. so. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. At least that's what my mother told me to believe. <laughs> she didn't want to buy it. <laughs> Listen. Um, but no, there there's some really good Genesis games. I mean, that people on SNES didn't get, like, all the Sonic games. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just loving the music in this game so much. I'm just, I'm just it's vibing. It's so good. <laughs> just vibing. Yes. <laughs> Uh, but we're we're in the caves now. Um, there's a, this is, this game's a mix of like underground levels and then above ground levels, kind of like you know, seen a whole bunch of different <laughs> spaces <laughs> in in New York City. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> everyone remembers the caves in New York City. All right, I've been missing out on so much in my life. <laughs> <laughs> What other uh, what other Sega games uh, did you enjoy playing when you were growing up? Um, I particularly enjoyed uh, Golden Axe Two, nice Mortal Kombat Two. Oh yeah, I know there's like a theme there. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I love Sonic Two, Sonic Three. Sonic Three is probably like I consider it like my game. Um, it's so good in X Men. Oh nice, nice. Golden Axe game is so good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> yeah. I haven't played this game, but I played Golden Axe and, you know, same vibes. So, <laughs> it's, it's, it's good. Yeah. 
have you ever played this co-op? Yes, I have many okay. times. That's usually the way I used to play it, actually, um, with um, my brother and sister. Because oh. I could, for the longest, I couldn't beat this game on my own, believe it or Fair. not. No, games back in the day, man, I just had... It's rough. <laughs> Definitely yeah. had to play co-op, yeah. especially fighting games. Um, so this is this is a fairly e easy boss. He keeps his distance. Uh, sorry, you want to keep your distance from him because he does a kick that can knock you down, which, you know, is a pain if you're trying to, you know, have a rhythm to the fight. Um, but overall, he's not too bad. There he goes. And we're done. Remember, when I see you next time, I'll beat you. I don't. I don't yeah, think you will. Yeah, it's not gonna I don't, happen. I don't think you will. <laughs> <laughs> not today, at least. Not today. Perfect. Okay. Now we are we're heading through the game. We're heading to Shredder's hideout um, at the moment. Just taking out more foot soldiers. Again, great music. <laughs> <laughs> And you said those are nunchucks in their hands? The ones in the gray or boards? Yeah, yeah, they're nunchucks. I thought they were like Tompa or something originally, but um yeah, they use it they're 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 kind of a pain. They're the only guys who kind of block. Yeah. So you gotta make sure to take them out with a sliding kick. Yeah, and I, t I totally didn't realize what they were holding until later in life. <laughs> oh. Fair. Oh, there's also these fire breathing oh my gosh. guys. <laughs> <laughs> Huge fan of them. They're very cool, but I mean, like, <laughs> I wouldn't want to encounter that in real life. <laughs> right. <laughs> and they only appear in this level, too. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Picking up the sidewalk and throwing it at you is great. <laughs> very rude. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's funny. <laughs> that is so funny. Yeah, I mean, they're outside, they're technically outside of his hideout, so you have to have some traps before, uh, before you can get into it. Fair, fair. <laughs> We've also got a whole bunch of these, uh, these Mausers here, uh, which are kind of a pain to deal with because they're small. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a lot of them. <laughs> They love a good kick to their face, so <laughs> that's how we take care of them. Go. We are moving right along. Yes. Okay, now we're inside the hideout. We got the, <laughs> um, you just saw Linear hit those candlesticks away. They have a very satisfying noise when you do that. <laughs> yes, that's pretty cool too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it, Crime. You're like becoming so comfortable with the game. You're like, <laughs> oh yeah, the sounds it makes. And I'm like, yes. Yes, yeah. I have converted you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, I've been I've been having like a ton of fun being on commentary for this game. Like it's 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 so cool also to just see you improve at this game like immensely and just like get so much more comfortable with it yourself and you're you're killing it. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, yeah, so love the love. Say that as these these uh these foot soldiers come. Oh, this part's I difficult though. It's fine. <laughs> Um, but yeah, there's a ton of dangerous traps in this level. I mean, you know, <laughs> Shredder doesn't want us to go see him. Um, <laughs> what? He doesn't want company? What? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but there's, uh, I think it wasn't in, there, earlier in this, this level, there were actually, there was a section here where Linear couldn't jump because there were spikes on the ceiling, <laughs> which is <laughs> awful. <laughs> and then you got all those bamboo stakes going through the floor. I 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> he got in my way. <laughs> Oh, Mausers with the ping when you kick them. Love it. <laughs> Great sound effects in this game, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, oh, no. yeah, so now there's lasers, so we want to oh, avoid gosh. those because uh, the animation when we get hit and knocked back loses time. Like that. Yeah, yeah, but you also get you also get the very good skeleton animation. <laughs> you know, we're just showing it off. You know? <laughs> Gotta show all the things. You know? <laughs> yeah. There's a lot happening now on this level. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Environment, enemies, throwing stuff. Oh, really? Wow. Get that pizza, recover our health. <laughs> Oh, more fire breathing guys. Oh, they're easy to take out though, which is good. Nice. Okay, so this is a difficult boss fight. Um, this is this is Tatsu. Um you must defeat my foot soldiers before you fight me, which is actually not true because we don't want to fight the foot soldiers in this boss fight, <laughs> actually. Um, because on easy and normal, he uh, he calls out more foot soldiers after you defeat them. So if you don't touch them, he won't call out more of them. Um, so it's better to just focus on him. Uh, the weapon he's throwing, it's, it's a kunai. Um, and also, this is actually... Uh, Tatsu's the only boss in Hyperstone Heist that's not from either version of Turtles in Time, so, you know, pretty unique boss for this game. Um, oh, there we go, that was fast! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was a little bit nervous about him because earlier he just wasn't cooperating, but I feel all the good vibes here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone's loving it. <laughs> Cowabunga. Someone said, oh, okay, have so a field this day is at Shredder's uh, hideout. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so this is the gauntlet. Um, this is what is, um, it's it's a boss rush area, let's say. Um, exactly. Lots of pizza monsters here, which are difficult enemies. Um, they're just rapid firing over here. <laughs> uh. They make me so angry because I love the points they give, but when they start disrespecting me yeah. and knocking the crap out of me, <laughs> it's not so fun anymore. Yeah, there's like a very certain point you have to hit them or else they kind of hit you. And there's just so many of them and get overwhelming. They really look like octopus or squids <laughs> in the water. Yeah, the water. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, um, me so, off again. We... <laughs> so now we have um, Leatherhead again, but he's more fashionable this time. <laughs> Got a color palette swap. <laughs> um, and from what we can tell, there's no real difference in difficulty, at least on easy, between uh, the original boss fight and this gauntlet uh, boss fight against uh, Leatherhead. So it's mainly the same attacks and same patterns. Um, just trying to follow him. Oh! Shell shocked. We get right back up and start fighting him again. Let's go. So we have this pattern. Basically, he's going to throw these... Oh, and he's done. He's dancing. <laughs> and exploded. Exploded. <laughs> hopefully for good this time. <laughs> and now we have Rocksteady. Again, same same type of patterns. He's just going to run back and forth. Side of screen, side of screen. Um, we just basically want to stay away from his kick, because that's nasty. You don't want to deal with that. <laughs> Very disorienting when that happens. There we go. Perfect. He always looks like he's in so much pain. <laughs> 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 that 
actually makes me feel bad a little bit. <laughs> Oh no, Tatsu. Okay, so no. yeah, Tatsu Tatsu is, is kind of more of a pain for this second gauntlet fight because he doesn't have dialogue to start this fight. He just goes for it. <laughs> and he goes hard. <laughs> um, so he's going to throw uh, the, I believe it was kunai that he throws across the screen. Again, we're trying to avoid hitting the foot soldiers because we don't want to take any of them out or else we're going to have to fight more of them. Go. And obviously, you also have to avoid the falling uh, cl uh, objects as well. And there we go. I love how Leonardo like taps his foot. <laughs> <and> says, <"Hurry> <laughs> <up."> <laughs> okay, and now we have a new fight. This is not part of. I mean, this is part of the gauntlet, um, but we haven't fought uh, Baxter Stockman yet. Um, so basically, you're going. To, uh, Linear is doing a flying kick only. Um, it's there's a regular pattern that you are going to follow here to be able to hit him without him trying to drop these uh, these Mausers because <laughs> they are a pain like to that. deal with. <laughs> yeah, um, there's a lot of RNG in this fight. Um, the Mausers they knock you back and make you spin, and they spawn infinitely. So um, if you kind of get knocked out of the pattern by them, it's it's difficult to kind of get back into it. But Linear C is killing it here. Let's go. He's just flying around all over the place. Perfect. Good pattern here. Uh, and if you, you're timing it, um, you can also take out the, the Mausers as well um, with your flying kick. Go. On. Right. Yeah. We did it. Nice. Heck yes. Love to see it. My dear Mausers have been beaten. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Good riddance. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Final shell shot. Technodrome. We're here yes. already. Making good time. So this is basically like a factory for Mausers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of robots here. Um, there's some really cool things that happen with the level as well. If you look in the background right now, actually. Oh, great. They're escaping. <laughs> <laughs> they literally were just built and just jumping and attacking us. We love it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's, that's so many resources down the drain for Shredder. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, so there's more robots here. So They're kind of nasty. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Okay, more of these rock guys. Uh, taking them out immediately with that spin. Let's go. Oh, this music's great too. I love the, the like, hey, 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 in the background. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, hey, you, what are you doing in our house? <laughs> we got some more Mausers jumping out from the back. Yeah, it kind of makes me think, you know, in uh, Sonic 3, I think it was a like base launch zone, and it's something like the music is like, go. Yeah, go, yeah, go. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, that soundtrack is so good. I love it. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, I'm just over here bouncing <laughs> like I did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Same>. <laughs> that was rude. Uh, chat said that's the audience cheering you on. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love them just like sliding out of the hatches in the wall. 
<laughs> like the laundry sheet or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I also just realized that there's, uh, <laughs> those shoots are labeled foot as well for Foot Clan. <laughs> I didn't, I just, the first time I've noticed that. Good details in the background. Perfect. Okay, so now there are these fog machines. Um, where they pop up is is random, <laughs> so you Ooh. just have to hope uh, it doesn't happen in front of you. Great, we love like that. that. There we go. <laughs> yep. Come on. Hey, we're just showing the audience what it looks like. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Did you enjoy my demonstration? Get <laughs> the full effect of the game, you know. You gotta. That was so rude. <laughs> I hit a miss. No. Oh, yes, okay, so these there's these blue bouncing balls. You can try to avoid them, but it's honestly luck-based. They are a pain. <laughs> yeah, he got me before I could even react. Yeah. Right. Yeah, there will be a few more of those coming up. Like there. There we go. So close, yeah. You sometimes can, they get it, sometimes they don't. Yeah, you can sometimes do like a kick dash through them and then they won't hit you. But difficult to time. But it's not too bad, we just get back up again and start, start, uh, you know, taking care of more foot soldiers. There we go. There's these rock dudes. <laughs> we only have like, what, six lives? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Rude charging attack. Awesome. And we got more lasers. Slightly different lasers this time, but we want to <laughs> still avoid them. Um, unfortunately, the... <laughs> The uh, foot soldiers are immune to the lasers, which honestly, <laughs> completely unfair. Right. <laughs> I think that is just so rude. Yeah. They can just walk through it. <laughs> Maybe we need to like hit mana and get one of their uh, outfits. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. So this is Krang. <laughs> if you're familiar with turtles, might might have heard of Krang. Um, but this guy takes a lot of hits to take down. You basically want to avoid getting kicked by him, which is, like, the majority of his attacks. There's so many kicks. <laughs> but, you know, we're, we're gonna kick him right back. But you also want to avoid these missiles. Um, basically, he, he shoots three missiles, and then you jump and attack again. Three. There we go. Perfect. And it's just a whole bunch of figuring out the right timing. Um, there's a few different times when you can hit him. There's also this bomb section. Uh, you're near the end when he starts throwing those bombs. Um, and when he's laughing is actually a good time to hit him. So, <laughs> you know, get him while he's distracted. <laughs> right. I was just showing you all what happens when you get hit by the bomb. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Nice. Oh, well. I don't know about that. We are <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe our time is almost up. I'm actually sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So okay, we're in the well. elevator section now. Um, you know, classic elevator section in Turtles games, and just in general in beat em ups. So what basically what Linear is going to do is kind of slide into the wall to destroy enemies as the door opens to take them out as quickly as possible.
There we go. And it's, I believe it's also different, uh, foot soldiers. Oh, yeah, yeah, different waves of them. Again, amazing music in this section as well, just like the <laughs> entire game. Good. I was worried that the enemies would just drop on the platform, so I'm glad that they're like coming through doors. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and we got these, um, oh my god, what are these called? Roadkill Rodneys! Road there we go! Rodneys. <laughs> <laughs> Good name. I wish I could have been in the meeting when they were talking about some of the names for these I enemies. I know, yeah. And it's great, too, because it's like, you wouldn't really know that unless you were, like, reading the manual for it. Because <laughs> I don't think they're mentioned, they're not mentioned by name anywhere. Nope. Aw, oh, tough room. <laughs> <laughs> They can block. Unfair. <laughs> oh, how are they able to do that? <laughs> <laughs> they morph through the floor. And oh, there they go. Honestly, quite rude to throw a bunch of nunchuck guys at you at the end. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. <clears throat> We're close on uh, time after the last hit from Shredder. Yeah. Okay, so now we're fighting Shredder, as you do in a Turtles game. <laughs> 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 now I'll show you the real power of the Hyperstone! Awesome. So, Linear is just going to pelt hits at him. Um, he does these fire attacks. You want to avoid them. Uh, he also does this attack that we definitely want to avoid, where he throws ooze, and it turns you into a baby turtle. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of entertaining. Yeah, kind of entertaining, <laughs> but you should probably go look it up. <laughs> We're going to try not to show that off for you today. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> um, but he, he's got a whole bunch of different attacks here. We're just trying to take his health bar out. He's much more um, active than the other bosses, where he kind of he doesn't just go side to side. He kind of does these other moves in between. But we're, we're coming down on his health. It's and time. time. Yep. GG. Oh, he is so it. good. That's awesome. <laughs> Great. That's awesome. Thank you. I'm so sad that it's ending, but we get to see one of my favorite parts. We defeated Super Shredder. City's back to normal size. April's reporting. <laughs> Everyone's happy. Nobody's noticing Splinter just in the crowd like that. Yeah. I don't know, like, maybe because I didn't grow up in New York City, maybe that's what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Yeah, yeah. we did it. Good night, everybody. <laughs> awesome. Thank, thank you all so much for having me. This has been so much fun. Yeah, this was awesome. You did so good. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> thank you. Do you have any shout outs or anything you'd like to say? Let people know where to find you. Yeah, so I have a few shout outs. Um, you can find me on Twitter or X, whatever, at Linear C underscore Twitch. I am on Twitch as Linear C. I've never been big into streaming, but I want to get into it. So please come follow me if you want to see games like this, RPGs. I play a lot of retro games. I play horror games. I play like a lot. I'm like a variety streamer. You can also find me on Blue Sky. It's just Linear, uh, linear C. 
And as far as shout outs go, I want to give a big shout out first and foremost to Metro, Metroid Crime. Oh, thank you. For being on cons for me for what? This is like our third time mm, together yeah. on this game. Yeah, and, and I just, I love seeing you get like so much more comfortable with, with doing it and like playing this game and you're like, you're, you've gotten so amazing at this. And yeah, I'm so, <laughs> so proud of you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you. And thank you for not only telling me about this event, but for encouraging me to do this amazing event. Although I'm not sure you have let me say no. <laughs> <laughs> you are so awesome. And to Lady Arcaders, also founded by Metroid Kine. I hope you're sensing a theme here. <laughs> um, thank you. Yes. PT, I look forward to having you on my couch one day. Thank you for all you do and your support. Big shout out to all the runners, host comms, and all the other event staff. And last but not least, I want to give a brief, a very special shout out real quick to my Japanese speaking friends, both old and new, that showed up here today to support me or they'll eventually watch it. Um, I want to say thanks for watching and share where to follow me for, uh, for more. So without further ado, no Nihon no Minasan, Nihongo Benkyo Chu no Minasan, so Shite Hajibumashite no Minasan, Bitte Kurete Arigato. 私がもっと強くなるために頑張っていた時何年も経って ご覧いただいたならぜひ and that's it. So, Metroid Crime, where can we find you? <laughs> um, well, first of all, thank you again so much for having me on. Um, I've been Metroid Crime. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Metroid Crime. Um, I'm either I'm Metroid Crime on Twitch or Metroid underscore crime on some social medias where I couldn't get my name. Uh, but you can find me anywhere <laughs> uh, on the internet. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you again so much for having me on. Thank you, everyone. That was a great run from Linear C. I am your host, Sprinkle Theory, and you are watching Games Done Quicks, unapologetically black and fast, where we are celebrating black joy and speed running. GDQ has a lot of events, and there is an event coming up in just a few weeks. Um, another event coming up that is also near and dear to my heart. Uh, GDQ's next all women and femme speedrunning event, Frostfate House, is coming up March 3rd through the 10th. The schedule is now out. If you use exclamation point FF in Twitch chat, you can learn more. Prize submissions are open now and will continue to be open until February 28th. So you can go to gamesdonequick.com slash frame fatales for more information. I'm wearing a frame fatale shirt and hoodie <laughs> right now. Um, super comfy. Uh, but yeah, so make sure to check out all GDQ events. Um, continue to be here for the, these four days for UBAP. Check out Frostfate Towels. Um, we're going to take a short break, but we'll be back with more speed runs.